Hi everyone, this is David from Plug, and this is our new uh, virtual instrument called Chip Sounds, which reproduces, um, allows, in fact, allows any musician to reproduce uh, the kinds of waveforms and, and typical sound effect patterns and all sorts of cool stuff that the 80s video games, especially second and third generation video game consoles and computers, were able to generate. But it's not an emulator, it's not something hard to use. It's something that's uh, high level in the sense that it can be played by any musician directly using things that they understand like MIDI, pitch band, mod wheel and so forth. And so doing so, I mean it's impossible as a design philosophy to really put, uh, have an interface that actually allows you to play with the chips at the lowest level possible and to be able to make something instantly musical out of them. So. I think I've got I've got my design to a point where I've got the best best of both worlds. So we have in here those are the loading slots. So you have eight different chips that you can load. Each can be set to receive specific MIDI channels, RB Omni. They could have specific polyphony. You can detune them uh, plus or minus a uh, hundred cents. Uh, of course, volume, pan, reverb, and the outputs. If you have a multiple uh, output capable host, you can choose that. So uh, each chip um, has sometimes, not all chips, have specific controls here. So if I change and I put an AI, I got the buzz ratio, and uh, sometimes I just have a filter. In the case of uh, the Game Boy, I have the. I can draw that and make some funny sounds in there. Um, you have the arpeggiator and the wave sequencer. I'm going to go come back with that later in a separate demo. You have the modulation tab in which you change uh, everything that was available basically on those chips, which were uh, you could modulate uh, the types of waveform, the pitch, and the amplitude, but um, they're gazillion ways to do that and people writing games and music in the 80s were able to pull out some very very interesting stuff just with those uh, things there and most of my future demos are going to be spent explaining <laughs> stuff you can do instantly that really sound like video games using chip sounds. Um, right now the effects it's really one global reverb uh, which applies on all the channels but there's a different send on each of them. So a little bit more later. Cheers!